initiate consciousness, please. Hey there. Okay, I'm going to ask that everyone remain focused and quiet, and please hold your questions until the end, okay? Now, if you will reference the notes I distributed, you will see that this subject was chosen by a resurrection team based on multiple markers for QPE, or what was once colloquially known as ASMR. As with many of our subjects, the strongest indicator in this case was the video watch records we were able to access for the year 2018. Later on, I do recommend checking Appendix Q for a complete list of internet videos watched by the subject during that time period. There is some really interesting stuff there, okay? Now, once again, because it's going to be the first thing on the test, let's have a definition for QPE in this context. You. And, uh optoacoustically catalyzed state of quantum phonon entanglement with reciprocal temporal flux? Acceptable. Now, please keep in mind, once you're out on the floor, these procedures will be much more efficient. However, for learning purposes, I'm going to be talking you through each step. All right. Let me get set up here. Right here. Step one, we greet the subject and put them at ease. Hey there, everything's going to be okay. You're in good hands. Step two, we briefly explain to the subject what's happening. Not too much detail, they're naturally very inquisitive, and their inability to communicate with us in this state can cause a level of frustration that winds up being really counterproductive. Okay. Hey, we're just going to be harvesting some of your energy today. There's nothing to worry about. We're going to be very gentle with you, and no harm will come to you. All you need to do is just relax. Tone of voice, very important. Now for step three. We begin placing the adhesive sensors. Now, this may look like a piece of medical history to you, but it works quite well with their unique pre-augmentation biology. Okay. So I'm just going to gather a few of these, and let's see. Okay. Placing them right in my pocket here for easy access. I'll begin removing the adhesive strips on the back. Might feel a little awkward, but you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. And we'll begin placing it in the spots indicated in your notes. Diagram, we're going to put one right 
here. Next, we want one back on the other side. Up here. Let's make sure that's nice and secure. And... and same spot, opposite side. we begin the session. Uh, keep an eye on the reservoir for energy as it collects, but please temper your expectations for the first session. As you develop a working relationship with your subject over many sessions, you will get bigger and more reliable harvests. The first session is a lot more unpredictable though. Okay. I'm going to need you to tingle for me. <laughs> now, especially for the early sessions, we are going to want to use QPE catalysts that are familiar to the subject. Um, so we do have a lot of vintage goodies for you to play with here. As you move on, you will be able to move away from the kind of Stone Age stuff back to things that are maybe more familiar and efficient for all of you. All right, so what are we going to start with? To begin with, we have this fantastic pen light. Very simple to operate. You put a small amount of pressure on this spot right here. It lights right up, all right? Now, as a reminder, we like to start in front of the subject with a visual catalyst or two. Then we move on to the more auditory ones, moving around the side and to the back of the subject. We find this progression is really reliable. All right. Hey there. I'm going to ask you to take a look at this light right here. I know you can't move much, but you'll find your eyes still move quite easily. Would you be so kind as to follow the light with your eyes? There we go. Very good. You'll notice that the subject is very compliant. You're doing a great job. Never take this for granted. 
We try to pick really good ones like this one, but we want to use a lot of positive reinforcement anyway. to look at my nose right here. I'm going to be moving the light around again, but as best you can, just keep looking right here. Okay. Don't forget your tone of voice. There we go. Beautiful. Keep looking at my nose. Very good. See that on the meter? Mm-hmm. All right. Now, once again, I'm going to ask you to follow the light from side to side, up and down. There we go. Let's move on to the next tool. This is one of those protective face masks that I was telling you about earlier. Um, however, what I like to use it most for really is the sound. You'll find that you can get some really good stuff just by gently, gently touching it, right? Now with many of the subjects, you'll find that they respond not just to the gentle sounds, but to the visual stimuli of seeing you touch your tools as well. Again, that's why gentle, gentle touches are so important. There you go. How's that? results that we're getting up there in the reservoir. I'm going to go ahead and move on to something really fun. All right. Does anyone know what these are? Well, they're gloves, obviously, but does anyone know what they were used for? Well, a long time ago, people used to wash their dishes by hand. I know. Um, and what they would do is they would wear these special protective gloves to prevent too much damage to their skin cells on their hands. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to place these on. We're not going to be doing any washing today, but these make some really wonderful sounds. Okay. Hear that? Okay. Now, since again at this portion of the session, we are working on the visual triggers first. So, what I'm going to do is, in addition to making these sounds, I'm also going to do some light 
hand movements. And I'm also going to be gently touching the subject's face, okay? Now again, let's keep an eye on all the readings up there on the monitor. Uh, most subjects are fine with being touched, however some of them do become distressed. If they're distressed, we stop immediately, okay? Alright. Now, if it's alright, I'm gonna get right in there and gently touch your face. Okay. All right. Just gently putting my thumbs under the subject's eyes like this. You want to use just enough pressure so they get a comforting sensation from it. Look down the nose right here. But make sure that we're being very, very gentle. Let's rub the thumb along the eyebrow here. students are learning a lot and they are very lucky to have a really great subject like you. Doing some gentle touching down the side of the face here. And on this side. Get underneath the chin a little bit. Gently rubbing the chin. A little bit of pressure, but not too much. Okay. I'm move around to the back of the neck now. Here we go. You're going to feel my fingers on the back of your neck here. You can use a little more pressure here. Kind of give a little gentle massage to the neck muscles if you like. Again, finding that perfect balance of pressure and tenderness. Yeah. Move out the shoulders a little bit. Scissors. I know a lot of you have been excited to play around with these. So, what I'm going to do is simulate an old-fashioned haircut. Just reaching right up around the head and snipping away. Not actually cutting anything, but sort of playing along as if we were. All right? You ready for a little imaginary haircut? <laughs> All right, here we go. Get right in here. Other side.
around the back now so I can get the imaginary side and back of your head as well, all right? All right, plenty to do back here. Let's start up top. Get a little behind here. Someone mark the levels on the meter. All right, I think that was fun for everyone. For you too, I hope. Now, finally, we're going to move out of the visual field of the subject and see what kind of results we can get up there with uh, some catalysts that are purely auditory. All right, do a little bit of that, then we'll come back around and we'll wrap up the session. Ready? All right. So today we're going to focus on verbal auditory catalysts. Please remember that with this, perhaps more so than anything we have covered so far, you cannot rely solely on your cognitive downloads. While we have provided you with all the technical knowledge that you need for this task, there is a level of artistry that can only be developed through lots and lots of practice. You all worked very hard to be here, okay? Please, don't let your ego trick you into attempting a shortcut now. All right, the first category that we're gonna pull from today is from our list of affirmations. Here goes. You are a unique patient. You are perfect for our purposes. You are giving to the greater good. No other subject is just like you. We appreciate you just the way you are. Next, some of our short words and phrases. Tut, tut. Perfect. Perfect. Just perfect. Good. Very good. Up and out. Up and out. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. 
the pot calls the kettle black. Next, just a few sounds. See that on the meter? Mm hmm And finally, remember that the subject may respond to just the sound of your breath. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Now, I think some of you might have figured this out already, but I do want to emphasize that we want to feel really good about this subject that we got today. We try to pick out really good ones for these teaching sessions, but this is one of the best ones I've worked with, so let's all take a moment of gratitude here. Okay. Hey there. I want to thank you so much for being such a wonderful subject. I'm going to go ahead and set you back to sleep, but we're excited to work with you again soon, all right? Okay. All right, hey, consciousness off, please. All right, everyone, so what I want you to do is...